I'll just give them the mic and let them introduce oh, themselves. Right. And, oh, go ahead and get started. No. I keep forgetting we have a host. I, it was, I had the pleasure of introducing Richard West yesterday, and we're, we're kind of doing similar things in that Richard uh, at BYU has been working on the development and implementing uh, an open textbook on instructional design, which he uses in both the uh, uh, master's and doctoral levels. And that's similar to the kind of thing that we are working on, the four of us, in collaboration with BC Campus. Um, and the question came up to us with all that we're learning and, and uh, kind of emerging through into different ways of creating learning uh, ecologies and ways of approaching and trying to understand and unfold digital learning and critical instructional design and so on. Um, how is the field of instructional design responding to that? What are we doing? How are we equipped to be in that field and to help provide guidance, leadership, research the types of things that could help enable moving forward in these areas. So the four of us uh, are here to harvest information from you. You'll be doing most of the work as in the previous session. We're crowdsourcing information for a twofold project. The one project is we would like to develop an open reader on what we're going to be calling learning design. Uh, where we uh, have a number of different chapters or sections that will explore uh, some of the many fascinating areas that we're seeing unfolding within this conference and in similar venues as uh, for use in, in higher education, mostly in graduate programs, instructional learning design. And the other is, while we're doing that, we are also trying to rethink what is, the, what is an open textbook? Because we, we tend to write our open practices over existing artifacts and tools. Can we improve the concept of the textbook, of the open textbook? So this is kind of exploratory. We don't have the answers. We're just kind of working on this, iterating at a number of conferences over time. So um, we'll introduce our uh, speakers here. I'm Erwin DeVries. I'm with Thompson Rivers University. Hi, everybody. It's uh, Michael Pascovicius from uh, University of Victoria. Uh, and we've been muddling with these questions ourselves for the past six months or so, and first time that we're uh, putting them out to a group. So we're looking forward to your feedback. Michelle Harrison, and I'm at Thompson Rivers University as well. And I'm Tanis Morgan, and I'm, I'm at BC campus and also at JIBC. So we don't want to waste too much time because we would like to see you working on this. Uh, let's see if we can move this slide along. So the task today is to participate in an ongoing crowdsource project to develop an untextbook on critical instructional design. And um, so we apologize that there's no lecture today. I'm sure you'd like us to just talk and that you could take notes uh, and uh, work out some very complex things. But no. Owing to time constraints, we're going to ask you to join one of the four groupings and start working on the questions provided. And also for our, our virtual participants, welcome to you. We're glad you're with us. It's, it's great. Um, we're also, uh, if you use the Twitter stream with the hashtag, let's go back to it. Oops, going the wrong way. Rethink, uh, rethink LD. Rethink LD is the hashtag for answering the questions. There are going to be four questions that you'll rotate through. And for those of you who are using Twitter, please use the hashtag RethinkLD, as well as when you answer a question, just say question one, two, three, or four. So um, with that, these are the four questions, but the questions will also be available to you in your corners. We're going to ask you to self-organize. Uh, question number one is going to be down this area here. Question two, sort of at the midpoint. Please just move over. Question three, we're going to ask that group to go to that part of the uh, theater, and then group four down here. So if you're in this quadrant, please come on down. If you're in this quadrant, please come on down, and so forth. Could you repeat that? Which quadrant do you wish? I'm short attention span. Yeah. <laughs> OK, so there are four groups. Right. Table one, two, three, four, except we don't have tables. So which way? This is table one. Invisible table. Invisible table two. If you just go up there, we're going to, there's one, one of us is going to be there to work with you to help you write out some of your thoughts and answer the questions. Group three there. Group four here. Feel free to elevate, shift, and take a few minutes to uh, move over. Okay, and so you're going to. I'll grab a question. 
right here, yeah. The clock is a ticking, unfortunately. I would just love to keep this going. This, this could be a day project. What's going to be happening in, I think, is it next week? Next week is we're having a full half day session with another group uh, in British Columbia at ETUG conference called Cascadia. Um, and so we're going to workshop with a, with a bunch of people. We're going to take these ideas, we're going to fold them, and we're going to start fleshing them out a lot more. We're going to keep putting all of this up on our blog, uh, Rethink LD. And we also are doing a research project over top of this. So if you look online, you can sign up. Uh, we'll get back in touch with you. Uh, we do have um, uh, permission through our research ethics to get you involved with the research project. So you're welcome to participate in that. And I think we, we are done. Do you have any final words? Thank you so much for your participation. Great. Round of applause.